Hello beautiful people, today I want to talk or maybe explain for you who doesn't know you can look it up of course there's a lot of videos on YouTube there are not new maybe year ago two years ago so you can go and watch it there's a lot of them when there's Americans reacting to people who went from United States to study or to work or to live to get married or whatever to Europe or some other countries so let's make and put clear here here will be some difference what I know uh, I had to write it down be because uh, I'm not like penguins most critical <laughs> that I can go just from the top of my head I'm screwed a little bit here let's start with one fun fact Mary Antoinette, I hope that, pardon me, as my subscribers and or viewers, you know who that was. Yeah, she was a political figure and she was beheaded on guillotine. They said that was because, that, there is one uh, famous uh, statement that she says, when uh, she was told by her court, whatever, uh, People do not have bread. They do not have for bread. And she said, well, give them a cakes. And this is mis misunderstood because actually the cakes were way cheaper than bread back at the time. It's not cake what you would imagine today, like big uh, wedding cake or birthday cake or cupcakes, muffins, whatever. It was uh, similar to bread, but su sweeter, you know. So yeah, that's uh, very underestimated uh, and that's understatement. People do not understand. That wasn't the reason why she was beheaded. Okay, let's go to the video. So, now I'll, I will not glorify, I am in Europe right now, I will not glorify either Europe or United States, although I love very much both of them. Uh, this will just be facts. And at the end of the video, I will give my opinion. Now, Europe with 10.2 million kilometers square. Look it up, I think. In uh, English, it will be or American 3 point something. Whatever. So, Europe is 20% larger than United States. As if you count uh, the land, you know. Now, smoking, obesity, physical activity levels, and alcohol consumption, drugs consumption, explained a fraction of health variations. Conclusion, health variations. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Conclusion, American adults are less healthy, healthier than Europeans at all wealth levels. So, it is like per capita, you know, you take 100... Uh, Americans and 100 Europeans. Now, population around 340 million, circa United States, whilst Europe has around 530 million. And uh, it is not European Union, it is Europe as a whole. So, some countries like Bosnia or Serbia, Albania, they are not, or Montenegro, they are not in the European Union. Or even uh, Great Britain, they exited, they held Brexit, and I just watched a couple of days, there was a march, like parade, they want to get back in the uh, European Union. And I knew that would be a mistake, I knew it, but I will do another video for that. United States, world's second economy. European Union, world's third economy. And with that fact, we are going to 2022. United States spent an estimated $12,555 per person on health care, highest per capita across OECD countries. If you don't know what OECD is, Google it. I will not explain every single thing because I don't have that much time to do a video. Right now I can do just 15 minutes. Almost all citizens of the European Union countries have medical insurance from birth. For example, in my country, 
it's also when you are get, getting when you come to this world you're covered with everything and when you're 18 and don uh, for example i wrote it down i pay around 15 euros so it is like i don't know maybe 17 17 and a half dollars per year and it covers everything and i mean everything as i heard in the united states if you call er and er comes for you you have to pay like couple couple grants and it, it is mind-boggling here it costs costs you nothing even if you're guilty you do you drink like this for example and then you go drive and uh, crash a car you broke your arm example as i'm saying you're not pay, paying anything to doctors or er affordable housings are better in european union prices of houses in european union depends of course of country but are way cheaper than in the united states so let's look at like i don't know if you're living in slovenia or if you're living in uh, france or italy uh, on the coastline or mediterranean where villas are very very expensive so it is similar to live in Iowa on the farm or on Beverly Hills or Melrose Place with, uh, I don't know, $25 million mansion. So, of course, it varies from country to country. But in overall, it is way cheaper in Europe. The only tax in European Union students will be charged is application fee of 100 euros or around, I don't know, $110, $115. Slovenia, Croatia, Germany, uh, Swiss or Switzerland, Portugal, Greece, Estonia, Poland are amongst cheapest countries to go to college. And when I say cheapest, like in my country, it's literally in Croatia, it's literally nothing. You pay maybe 200 euros per year and it's very, very good universities. Very good. Okay education of course is better here in europe uh united states average college per four year tuition is around one hundred and ten thousand dollars while european is around 150 dollar uh, euros or 170 75 dollars to 3500 euros so or maybe around four thousand uh, dollars so it's uncomparable it's like 110,000 to 150 to 3500 euros public universities in the states are around 10k per year four year undergraduate degree program at harvard costs over 220 thousand dollars now listen to this this is without room and board or any other fees two hundred and twenty thousand dollars and i mean i we all heard from movies and tv shows that colleges are expensive especially ivy leagues and i don't know yale i think is uh, not ivy league but you know what i want to say you're paying like 30 years for your college and then you can get job because you're either overqualified either economy is bad now inflation everything is go to shit pardon my french and suicides united states 13.9 per 100,000 people compared to for example the biggest in the europe would be united kingdom seven in 100,000 people i won't say great britain uh, because there's difference between United Kingdom, Great Britain, England, and so on, and so on. But the biggest in Europe is uh, UK, so 7 in 100,000 in the United States. And it is, uh, yeah, it is around 14, so double. Happiest countries list. Now l listen to this. There's, imagine the surprise, like in top 10, there is, I think, 9 from Europe. Denmark, Norway, Swiss, Finland, Sweden, then we have Canada in number six, then again Iceland, 
New Zealand. Um, I think that changed a little bit, but okay. Then again, you have Luxembourg, Netherlands, Australia, and then Austria here in Europe. So we only have Canada, New Zealand, and Australia, which are not from Europe or European Union. US, United States of America is number 16. It was 15, I think now it is 16. Army. Well, nowadays, yourself will probably annihilate Europe. So, you know, we, we can compare how much United States is spending or how much Europe spends. Because in European Union, we are not together. It's, we have NATO. We are in Croatia, we are here in NATO, so that's well. Terrorism, well, both have big problem, U Europe and United States, uh, as we are declared enemies to multiple terrorist organizations. If you remember 9-11, which was my, it is my birthday on 9-11, but we also have here in Europe uh, it was bombings in Madrid, uh, then throwing uh, acid in the face of uh, people in England, especially London, then another bombing in Subway. Uh, I don't know what's, what it's called. Was it in Sweden, Bel Belgium or whatever, when they killed uh, uh, people who were doing comics uh, because they were mocking of Muhammad. So, okay, let's go on. Guns. It is way easier to get weapons in the United States compared to European Union. There are some countries where there's no way you can get guns legal in European Union. Debt. US has reached highest debt in history, $33 trillion. As currency is way weaker, inflation 3.7%, biggest debt in the world. European Union debt, 13.27 trillion euros, almost three times less with almost 200 million people more living in Europe. Food, much better in Europe, example Spanish, Greece, Italian, French, Nordian, Mediterranean food, uh, portions in restaurants are less smaller in Europe, less sugar, less grease, sweeteners, artificial addi uh, additions to food, and way stricter laws than what FDA approves in United States as of food. United States ranks first in obesity prevalence levels Europe is in second place. Example, UK is the most obese country in Europe with 63%, while United States has over 70%, number one in the world. So we see comparison, yeah. English people are on bad things, <laughs> number one, UK, 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 as the United States. So if you ask me 10, 15, or even 20 years ago, where would I want to live? My dream. My answer would be 100% United States. I love the history, I love the culture, the movies, the music, everything. Of one, of uh, that once glorious country. Now, if you pay to me, I wouldn't move there. There's, there's no way. You, you would have to give me millions. Uh, especially since Biden took the White House. And so politics, I don't want to talk about that because both are awful as of now once this is my last sentence once i dreamed about california now it has become a nightmare honestly i was dreaming to be in la not to be an actor or singer to be whatever now it really is nightmare and you can see it in the news every day san francisco or new york immigrants illegal aliens i don't know People think with their head, 2024, we here have also, uh, it will be what it's called, when you go to what, you know. So think with your head, with your heart, and decide what is best for your country. Thank you.